Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Health by Heather Hirsch, where we discuss all things menopause and midlife. And today I wanted to talk about the use of an IUD at a perimenopause or menopause, a topic I bring up to my patients and often sometimes get strange looks, sometimes uh, very interested looks. And so I wanted to talk about this in this video today, sort of what's the role for an IUD when you're not worried about getting pregnant anymore. So that's what we're gonna to discuss today. If you guys don't already follow me over on Instagram, I'm at hormone.health.doc, and I love your comments, suggestions, and questions on videos. You guys can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Heather Hirsch MD over there, and I post tons of information, my podcast, YouTube, news stuff, things that are going on in Boston, so you can check me out over there. I also want you guys to know I have my podcast, Women's Health by Heather Hirsch, and there will be the link in the description box where we talk about all things women's health, not just menopause, and midlife related. And for those of you who are wondering if you can see me in clinic, I do want you to know that yes, I would absolutely love to see each and every one of you. That way we could definitely take a much more individualized approach to your midlife and menopause care. However, to be a patient of mine, I can certainly use a telemedicine, but your first visit does need to be in person with me at my clinic. I work at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. It's also a little bit of a crazy time right now traveling, so I certainly understand. And I also urge you to check out menopause.org, which is the North American Menopause Society's website, the governing body for all things menopause and midlife in the United States. And a search under find a provider where you can see if you can find someone who is NAN certified closer to you. All right, let's get into what we're gonna talk about in this video, which is the use of an IUD at perimenopause and menopause. So, you know, both times are certainly really fascinating and interesting to use. I'm actually going to start with my menopausal patients. So let's talk about somebody who's had a year of no periods or even maybe longer. Sometimes I, uh, you know, don't think initially right away about putting in an IUD. And because if you've had a year or a few years in between, you know, your, your last period, chances are if we do start hormone therapy, and there's many ways to use FDA approved hormone therapy, whether it's a tab or a patch, a spray or a gel, estrogen is a spray and a gel and progesterone is a tablet. There's many ways to do it. But I do often start with either a combination or again, it really depends on my patient's priorities and her medical history. For those patients, who for whatever reason can't seem to tolerate the progestin either when it's doing, given orally or if it's in a combination such as the combination patch like combi patch, I need to find a way to give my patients some progesterone. The main role of the progesterone is to keep an intact uterus healthy. So the estrogen component of hormone replacement therapy or hormone therapy depends what age you are, is, it depends if you say HRT or HG, but if you still have your intact uterus, I need to protect your uterine lining from unopposed estrogen. The caveat is if you don't have an intact uterus, you do not need to take any progestin because you, we don't have to protect your intact uterus. It's gone. It's been removed. It's in a bag someplace. So for my patients who find that they cannot tolerate the progestins, I usually go through the various kinds that we have. Micronized natural progesterone. I said, I mentioned the progesterone that's in the combi patch. There's some hormone therapies that have uh, uh, norethindrone in them. Um, there's Duave, which has a base of doxifene. There's several ways that we can try to get my patient the right progestin component. And if they simply can't find it uh, and they don't want to use vaginal progesterone, which I have to admit, I have almost no patient to stick with just because it's messy and it's nightly and it's very exhausting, I use an IUD. So I'm going to put a picture right here of an IUD. So uh, there's lots of myths and misconceptions about all female related things, but particularly around hormone therapy and IUDs. You know, IUDs are extraordinarily beneficial. The 
IUD it releases levonorgestrel, which is a type of progestin that's released directly to the uterus. It doesn't travel systemically, so when I say my patients can't tolerate progestin, sometimes it causes them to have mood symptoms, sometimes they don't like the side effects, they feel that they're too sleepy on it, maybe causes bloating or diarrhea, what have you. An IUD is great because it releases that progesterone just to the uterine lining. It does not go systemically. So voila, I'm giving you progestin right where you need it and then you no longer need to take that oral progestin, the progestin that's in the patch or a vaginal nightly progestin. Bingo. Now yes, IUDs typically are thought of as preventing a pregnancy, but that can also sort of be a side effect of what they do. Again, releasing that progesterone directly into the uterus. And so if you're already menopausal, your ovaries have really shut down, you're you know, not going to ovulate, you're not going to get pregnant, but we're using it as a medication to protect your intact uterus. Now, interestingly, but not surprisingly, IUDs have been shown, the progestin-releasing IUDs have been shown to decrease the risk of uterine cancer when used for more than five years. And again, that probably has to do with protecting that uterine lining. So I always say the, the uterus loves the progesterone. It would just bathe in progesterone if it could and keep it nice and healthy. And that's essentially what an IUD is going to do. Now you cannot uh, use this information for the hormone-free IUDs. So the hormone-free IUD is also called the Paragard. The Paragard cannot be used in this same instance. The remainder of the IUDs are all progestin-releasing IUDs, and so technically you can use any one of them. I tend to use for my menopausal patients the five-year um, um, IUDs, which is the brand names either Morena or Kylina, because if you're post-menopausal, we're not taking it out or planning on taking it out we want to leave it in for as long as we can so we can probably leave it in somewhere between five and seven years for you to get the benefit while you're taking your estrogen only now if you really don't like that IUD it's for some reason bothering you you can always take it out it's very very easy now let's talk about what if you're in perimenopause well this actually makes it even a little bit easier because if you think about it the other side effect of the IUD is it stops your bleeding so a lot of my patients in perimenopause have either really irregular periods or heavy periods and that bleeding is simply annoying it can come unpredictably it can last a very long time and so an IUD because it releases the progesterone to the uterus it thins the wall of the uterus it thins the wall very nicely so that your periods either become very scant or light or you have no periods at all which is wonderful and sometimes for my patients in perimenopause their top priority or their biggest complaint is their irregular periods now again yes it will help prevent pregnancy and you can still get pregnant if you're in perimenopause because it occasionally or you are still ovulating it so it works as a double whammy it's preventing you from getting pregnant the average age or the Guinness Book of World Records of an unassisted pregnancy is 56 so it can protect you from getting pregnant and also can slow and stop your bleeding you can also do this with birth control pills as well if you take them continuously but of course this video is about IUDs so some of my patients have already been on birth control pills or simply don't want to go that route again and so I bring up an IUD and then if they're having symptoms perimenopausal symptoms you know hot flashes night sweats trouble sleeping new onset mood issues vaginal dryness again we can use a postmenopausal estrogen tab or estrogen pill because they have that IUD that's already protecting the uterine lining. Now, can I use postmenopausal hormone therapy when someone's in perimenopause? Great question. Yes, I surely can. Sometimes it's trial and error. And perimenopause, as I say to all my patients, is so frustrating and very difficult because, you know, you're still making your own hormones. They're swinging and swaying at their own, you know, demand. They're doing whatever they want. And so, you know, sometimes we can use either birth control tabs to sort of overrule the system, or we can try postmenopausal doses, which for some reason, and a lot of my patients simply work better. So again, an IUD in perimenopause is going to decrease your bleeding. It's also going to decrease that uterine lining. So your periods become scant or light. It's going to protect you from uterine cancer and allow you to use estrogen only, um, either postmenopausal hormone therapy you know, and your uterus is protected. Menopausally, it's just a little bit more strange to wrap your mind around because we think about it as preventing pregnancy. But again, it's also going to protect your uterine lining, allow you to not have to use an oral micronized progesterone or progesterone in a patch or in that vaginal suppository, and you can simply just take your estrogen only. 
Now, a final and third thought to this is actually, a, in, intellectually, I wonder, and it's not been proven and long-term studies are not underway, but I actually wonder if using a progesterone-releasing IUD with an estrogen is the safest way to take hormone therapy. Now, I think the use of postmenopausal hormone therapy is actually very safe in patients who have no known contraindications to estrogen use and for patients who are suffering within 10 years of menopause. But if you want to make it the absolute safest in the women's health study, the women who did particularly well were those women who took estrogen only. Now, of course, if you have your intact uterus, you cannot do that. You simply need to protect your uterine lining. And the same way to sort of mimic that would be to take estrogen with a progestin IUD, which therefore doesn't go systemically like in the WHI where the women took Prem Pro, which is conjugated equine estrogen plus MPA plus the progesterone. So that's just a little tidbit from me. And, you know, we would need a long, long, you know, several decade study comparing an IUD plus estrogen to women who are taking combination estrogen progesterone and I really want to again relay the message I, I if anything I bet the benefits are if, if there are benefits over the IUD plus plus estrogen compared to taking it orally they're probably very 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 small because again the risks are really overall quite low but I always see this to my patients who are going to undergo this IUD look at me kind of like I'm crazy hear me out and then decide it's the best route to go I also say I really wonder if this is even you know even safer than you know taking the combination so without too much on that there is so much and indications to use an IUD in perimenopause or menopause, even if you've had your tubes tied, your husband's had his vasectomy, um, it just can provide so many other medication benefits besides for just preventing a pregnancy. So I hope that this video kind of cleared up some of those questions that you have if you are my patient or if someone else is recommending this kind of regimen to you. So IUDs can be a really good option to use in this time. Thank you guys for listening and checking out this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you've been watching a ton of my videos, please do. It really helps me and it lets me guys know that you like this kind of content so I can take more time out of my busy day to make more for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.